Europa Nostra congratulates Musa inspiration. That's what Europe needs today. And this project uh, promotes inspiration through music, through cultural heritage, with the energy of the young generation. We are all interested in uh, supporting a string quartet when uh, the, the potential is at its peak, but also when it is most alone, that I used to say at the beginning of the career. In order for a artistic talent to really be a sustainable entrepreneurial venture rooted in culture, many actors need to, to be part of this big effort. Uh, you need uh, venues, you need uh, agents, you need donors, you need uh, funding organization, concert halls, uh, educational uh, activities. And so it is, uh, imp and of course, uh, audiences. And uh, therefore, the interesting thing about the joint effort related to Musa is this idea of working together, each exploiting its own unique competencies for a broader goal. That is to say, to make a stronger ecosystem for uh, classical music and uh, string quartets to be throughout Europe strong and effective. When I founded the String Quartet Biennale Amsterdam, I had this dream to create a space for the String Quartet, for the art form, where the community, everyone who is involved in String Quartet, uh, comes together. A place where we can experiment, where we can explore, where we can discover, and where we can meet other music lovers, where the String Quartets can meet other string quartets and where this whole world feels that we are connected. Um, what I love about Musa is that the world I have created with the string quartet Biennale Amsterdam feels even much bigger. It involves whole Europe, it involves so many other partners, so many other professionals and uh, art forms. We are particularly impressed by the way that this project um, is building bridges. It's building bridges between music, the art of quartet playing, and historical places. Places with a meaning, places that tell the story of us, of Europe and of us, the Europeans. Tonight, we have just witnessed a wonderful example of that bridge. It is also the bridge between various types of skills because it is, this project is promoting the necessity for young musicians, not only to learn how to perform beautifully um, Haydn uh, Quartet or Beethoven Quartet, they also need to become good entrepreneurs and to know how to communicate and how to, um, in fact, promote a quartet as a cultural enterprise. So it is also making the bridge between these different types of skills. And today, more than ever, we need these bridges. I think that everybody recognizes the fact that combination of music and artistic music with artists, with musicians, with uh, uh, historic houses is something very special and uh, who brings at the end a sort of uh, uh, magical, which is music and audience and historic house as a frame. And I think that's, uh, that's for sure something that uh, we perform tonight. Uh, so what can I say? It's a, it's a, it's a dream. I joined the network Les Dimori del Quartetto because as a house owner, I thought it would be extremely interesting to go back into history and to feel the real value of having music as it was composed. I mean to say that it, quartet music was composed to be performed in drawing rooms rather than concert halls. So in that sense, the connection with historic houses and music has always been there. And if we've lost it today, it's a little bit like the furniture or the paintings or the sculpture in houses. There where, where there's been a connection which has been lost, it means automatically that we lose a lot of the meaning. 
And in that sense, I hope that the potential for these concerts will bring all that back, at least for me, in the near future, as in the, at the moment we're in the middle of big building works. But as soon as the dust is gone, then hopefully we'll be bring back a piece of history in order to look forward into the future. I think that is very important that in the contemporary art with the multimedia uh, idea of arts, it's important that the artists re recover the idea of to have a relationship with music. So I think that it's interesting to have a new point of view about the uh, arts and uh, the music. And it's possible that uh, we have some relationship between music with uh, contemporary art to present music, quartet music or classic music in the space of contemporary art. <laughs>